Okay, guys, now, uh, today, we're going to be testing out AVG, and, uh, the reason being is because I just want to show you guys this. Okay, so... Well, CNN is a very popular news uh, agency, and they have a, their own little, uh, or pretty much tech news, They're the most popular tech news in the web, because they've been on here for years. I mean, you, uh, every time, uh, if you got a new copy, when it's 98, uh, one of the add-ons they had, like they had Disney and stuff like that, but they had also seen it. Uh, it's pr a very respected one, and uh, they have a consistency download section. Their most popular download is actually AVG Free Edition. It has over a million downloads. And this is prob probably, I could be wrong, this is probably the most popular uh, downloading uh, website, too, due to the fact that it's seen it. But, uh, anyway, because so many people apparently use this and like it, I've heard bad stuff about it. Uh, but, I mean, people use it, so we're going to go ahead and see if it tests between, or how it does between today's malware. So we're going to go ahead and install it. We'll click on. Now, I, I can tell the size of the file is actually small. It's only a few megabytes, which is good. I can see there's directors based on 7-zip, which is kind of nice, I guess. 7-zip is pretty popular. Come and click accept. We do want the free edition. I mean, they're trying to push out uh, their internet security. We want to go ahead and do a quick installation because we just want to do it. We just want to pretend we're a normal user, just putting a bunch of malware to it. We do not want to have a little secu uh, secure search bar. So this is 128 megabytes. Uh, pretty hefty, but I mean, better than nothing. It has a, some new features like social network protection, which a lot of social networks are getting into getting worms in that different type of malware. In fact, I had a uh, client who got a Facebook uh, rogue, and I had to remove that from her computer. And it took a good while to remove it. Actually, I had to switch to combo fix because everything else didn't work. Not even malware bytes, which surprised me. But I'm not sure if it's a new variant or not, and I'm not sure if uh, malware bytes at the time picked up or not, but I'm pretty sure by now they would. So, uh, I will go ahead and pause this, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, so uh, pretty much done. Go ahead and full screen this. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can just uh, click finish without doing that, any of that kind of stuff. And yes, I can. Okay, so you get this gadget and it has search now, update now, and it has search. Really about it. And it tells you about updates and whole bunch of other stuff. I used to use APG a good bit on my computer. Uh, it was okay, I guess, but not best. I guess I'm gonna say that now. I think I actually get quite a bit of viruses on this myself, but which one do? So it's going to update, I guess, so according to this little widget. Well, I want to quickly look at the task manager and see what exactly does this thing have processes. So we got this and this, which this is 6 megabytes and this is under 6 megabytes. And please note that not seven. This one's one, six, one. So you got two right there, and about thirteen. 
right there. And I'm pretty sure if I show across this, then I actually have some more. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten or more. And this is twelve all together, that's pretty high. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. About 33, or 34, 32, I don't know. But it's about, it's in the 30 megabyte category. That, guys, is pounding the system. You're destroying it that much. I'm surprised it's 6%. But, whatever. Okay. It looks like it's got done up. It's got done up. It got done up thing. There we go. Uh, got that little security toolbar which I'll put on. Uh,. Everything should actually be really good at this point. So let's go ahead and max out of here. Okay, we got the ABG antivirus free. So let's go ahead and do some testing. I didn't ask for a reboot, so we're not going to reboot while doing this. And let's start with this new, brand new, as of a uh, few hours actually. So let's see it, how good AVG is catching up with brand new, brand spanking new, I should say, in malware. I'm going to go ahead and save that to the desktop. Okay, so nothing on AVG's end. Oh, and there you go. Wow, that brand new, few hours ago, Trojan, and it's called Trojan Spy Eye, but I'm just going to put it as a, yeah, I guess I'm going to put it that, that was for a second, I thought it was going to be some sort of rogue. Uh, it's gone through, or got detected, and uh, we're going to go ahead and move to Vault. Which is very surprising. So, maybe Komodo have actually gotten better. Okay, let's go ahead and take, take this fake AV that even Avast couldn't get last night, even though they probably left the other engines by now. Go ahead and let's just run this. And we'll forget what IE says. Run anyways. This has been here since last night, so. ABG might be doing something at least. Oh. Oh no. It got activated. <laughs> I remember this happening last night. Yep, the road got through. Okay. So, one got through, three, one didn't. I restore our last session, which is the same thing. Oh, yeah, and I forgot you can't do anything uh, when the road is active. So, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, Hold on just one second. Okay guys, I'm back and uh, I had to run this through Arkill so I can uh, disable the virus temporarily. I'm surprised this version of Arkill detected it finally. Uh, so now we can get on testing, but just remember uh, ABG did not block a uh, certain rogue. And by the way, that rogue is still active, or the process has been terminated, which means that if I restart the system, the uh, same things will happen. So. Hopefully, ABG gets that detected. So, I'm going to go ahead and run an IRC bot. And uh, our Komodo DNS server is blocked it. So, I'm just going to go ahead and skip that since it did. I'm going to postpone. Be able to scan it and see if it finally finds that virus, but until then. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, so this is a Trojan Cyber P, or Carver P. I can't pronounce it. So, different, I guess. Let's go ahead and save it, just for the heck of it. And let's see if AB detects it. Okay, yes. 
So right now we're just going to go ahead and get, run some. We're going to go down the list and start with some slower, slowly some older ones. So some of these have been detected and removed. Or some of these have been uh, seen and uh, the side's been down. Okay. Sorry. So you have a uh, side replace shop uh, website. think so he's gonna run which is fine oh so that one it okay that this one actually uh, finally gives you the setup so okay that's been moved to the vault and this is actually a Trojan downloader even though it says Trojan right there it says downloader for this one so that's crazy. This one actually takes time to remove. Go ahead and shut that off. Okay. I don't... I'm, not, I'm just going to put it at we don't have to restart it. Uh, actually, I'm going to pause it because, I mean, most people don't restart it, which you're really supposed to do. And just for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and restart it. So, I will be right back. <laughs> 